music and uh, videos. It's another multimedia. It's a very social experience. People really enjoy working with music. Everybody's got their music players. Well, every Windows mobile phone, or Windows, Windows Phone 7 series actually, will be a Zune as well. So we have the same functionality and more that I have on a Zune HD. <coughs> so right here when I go into my music and videos experience, I have access to my music. As I pan across, I can access my history of what I've been doing. See what's new on my on my uh, on my phone, and then I'm back around to the start again. Very easy to get to different things. Come on, I can come in, select an artist. Play that artist, and it pulls down that album art from across the web, coming down off of my uh, internet connection, and it gives me what's happening there, so I can listen to the artist. I can discover new, new, uh, new albums or new songs that the artist has out that I don't maybe not have on, that I may not own or may not have on my phone. Now another thing that I don't actually have on the phone is the ability when I go into my Zoom marketplace is we have services that are integrated into it. So I may add Pandora or other type, or other multimedia related services. Those will be available over on the music experience at the end. And back in here. As I pan over, this next slide right there would have different music experiences or different multimedia experiences that, that from, uh, from different partners and different developers that I can plug into very easily and I can pin different uh, playlists to the top. Favorite radio stations from Pandora, for instance. Um, when I connect my phone at home, I don't have to tether it to my PC. I'm going to plug this thing in and it grabs and it starts charging again. The Wi-Fi looks at the house and says, hey, I'm at home, I'm on my home network. It reaches out to the PC and it automatically synchronizes my new playlists, my music, my photos. New photos on my phone are automatically sent back to the PC. They don't live just on my phone anymore. Any pictures that I've marked as favorite on my PC will get synchronized over to my phone. Any changes I've made to music and playlists that I may want on the phone automatically show up on my phone there. All wireless over the air on the home network. All right, so there's a quick look at real code. So I just want to, this is a early pre-beta code. So, so far, so good. I want to show you one more thing really quick. Something that might be a little confusing. I've got the me tile, so I mentioned that. By, by selecting the me tile, this gives me access to my own feeds, my own Facebook and live feeds. So I can create comments up here. I can, com I can add a comment. I can comment on other people's comments, sort of like looking at my Facebook wall, I guess. So I can easily post up new items here. Now, what I want to do is go through and show you guys a little bit more keyboards. from a video perspective. We've got some videos to show you what these experiences are actually going to look like in the end when they're done. So first of all, I've got the start screen. Right at the top, I've got the time and date displayed. At the bottom, I've got various uh, messages and different things that are requesting my attention. You see the icon at the top for text. It's got a little smiley face representing the fact that I have new text messages waiting for me. The picture and the music and video again. That's the last artist I was listening to. And you can see people winking at me. And I can, again, I can reorder this and customize this in any way I want to. So moving around the tiles. And again, the people that are that are moving around, the, the people pictures up in the people tile are actually photos of my contacts. Now the people hub that we just looked at is another experience. You notice that my, uh, my mail count keeps changing as I get mail. I sweep into the people hub again. Here are the last uh, people that I've interacted with in one way or another, posting to, the, posting to their social network, talk to them on the phone, email, whatnot. I've got my list of contacts here. This phone belongs not to me, obviously, so that would be the me tile at the top. I could hit that to get to any, uh, to post the things to, to social networks. And here at the end, I've got the social network feeds from Live and Facebook. Very easy access to different contacts. I can simply select a letter, dial down into whatever part of the alphabet I want to get to, quickly access that, and dive right into the contact. I've got access to the contacts information and 
that contact's individual social network feed to see what's happening in their lives. And I can turn around, add a comment back to this person. We've got some nice things that we've done, like adding a little emoticon, ASCII to emoticon keyboard to our, to our keyboard system. So it's very easy to add various custom uh, emoticons to my comments, text messages, or whatever I'm typing.